All right, Dolphins fans bothered by what happened last night. The 27-13 lead that happened like that. Dolphins were one of my best bets this week. And when I say that, I don't bet. People think that, like, I was mad about the uh, apparently, potentially, arguably Joe Burrow injury being hidden because I bet big on the Bengals. I didn't bet anything on the Bengals. I actually picked the Ravens to win and cover that night for the picks that Chris Sims and I do. I just think it's wrong to hide injuries because it can create all sorts of problems for the NFL. So I don't bet. But, but I was very happy when the Dolphins turned a 13-13 game into a 27-13 game because all of a sudden they're covering the spread. And there was a moment on that next drive where Will Levis put a ball up in the air that could have been picked off. It was number four for the Dolphins. That was one of the problems with single digits, it's harder to keep the names and the numbers straight with a lot of these teams because it's a Another non-traditional number and a guy's on. playing defensive back or linebacker, and I don't know who number four is without looking it up for the Dolphins. Anyway, he didn't make a very good play on the ball. He picks it off. That game's over. Well, after that. And then I'm thinking, oh, Levis is going to give him another one. Will Levis is going to give him another one. Right down the field. Oh, they're playing a little soft on defense. They'll be fine. And then three and out. And the Titans pull off something that has not happened this century. Down 14 or more with three minutes or less remaining in the game. They won the game in regulation. Happened in overtime, didn't happen in regulation. And there you see some of the highlights as the Tennessee Titans did the unthinkable, erasing the 27-13 deficit. And that was the moment. The 36-yard catch and run by Will Levis to DeAndre Hopkins, the first play of the drive after they held the Dolphins with three and out, and there's the touchdown to cap it. That, and uh, Will Levis, uh, whew, Will Levis fired up. But when, when he hit Hopkins for the 36-yard catch and run, it's like, that's it, they're winning. They're going, to win. They're going to win this game. They're going to steal a victory for the Miami Dolphins. And for a team, and this is what I'm impressed by, Packers, or Giants game, Giants really don't have anything to play for, and they played like it was, it, they, they were, st- and they, they're, te- they're technically alive. They played like they're in the thick of it. They played like they're in the hunt. Titans, mm-hmm. they're not in it. They played like they're in it. I give credit to Mike Vrabel and Brian Dayball for having the teams ready to go out there, play their asses off, as they're playing out the string of lost seasons, of unfulfilled expectations, of disappointing campaigns, they're still out there playing their asses off in the middle of December. I give them credit for that. Well, especially with the Titans, look, you had two critical turnovers that you gave the Miami Dolphins the ball deep in your territory, and then they score a couple of touchdowns, and it is easy at that point to just say, you know what, Uh, at least we're going to get You know, we tried, we came out here, we played really hard, but, you know, this is what happens. Hey, it's just not our season. It's not our year. And instead, the the Titans just say, no, 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 no. We're going to keep kicking their ass. Like, we're going to still go win this game. Because, frankly, the Titans kicked the Dolphins' ass all night. And that's something that I didn't really expect. But that's just the way Mike Rabel coach teams do things, right? Yeah, okay, we gave up the sudden change touchdown. But it's not like, you know, we are not trying out here anymore. You know, we did some things that we don't usually do when it comes to hurting ourselves. But it's not like we are going to just roll over and die. They don't do that. And I love the way Will Levis responded. You know, this is a rookie quarterback who was only picked in the second round, right? You go back to draft night and he was in the room and, you know, you, of course you see him and he's reacting and it doesn't feel very good, but he's now in a spot where it looks like he's going to be able to thrive because the people around him believe in him. He believes in himself and he is showing right now that he can be the guy for the Tennessee Titans going forward. I, I thought there was just so much that was very impressive about the entire Titans performance last night. And you know what? I think it makes you feel good going forward about what this team can do in the future. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.